brave Israelis um, who are superbly trained uh, went in and freed and rescued these uh, uh, poor three men and one woman. Um, and uh, the reporting on this has been absolutely despicable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we're checking out Douglas Murray's stunned at lack of empathy for Israelis held by Hamas. What do you think about this? Like, let me know what you think about this. Guys, let's get straight into this. We now have people marching in America and elsewhere in the West calling on Hezbollah to murder Zionists. And, and there's, uh, it's just disturbing footage. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> And I also want to get your reaction, Douglas, to what we've seen uh, unfold after the rescue of those four hostages. So much criticism of Israel's tactics and the uh, alleged collateral damage from the rescue mission. Was there another way for Israel to rescue its people? Should they have issued a warning, as the BBC suggested, before launching the mission? Um, it's amazing. First of all, on the Hezbollah people, just notice again, uh, like the KKK, these people don't have the confidence to show their faces. Isn't it interesting that they're calling for support mm. for a genocidal terrorist organization? But weirdly, they cover their faces. Maybe, maybe they're not so sure of their views. Maybe they're not so proud of them. Maybe they know that mummy wouldn't be so proud of them. Who knows? Um, yeah. As for uh, uh, as as for the sort of the the the, the raid this week, uh, much of the media reported it as the the the, the release of four Israeli hostages. Mm. They weren't uh, uh, brave Israelis um, who were superbly trained. Uh, went in and freed and rescued these uh, uh, four three men and one woman. Um, and uh, the reporting on this has been absolutely despicable. You mentioned the BBC journalist who asked an Israeli official uh, why they didn't give an advance warning of the raid uh, in Gaza. Um, I don't know. That's like asking somebody why they didn't go up to somebody and, and, and say, I'm so sorry, I can't come to your surprise birthday party. I mean... <laughs> the uh, the whole point of a raid like this is that it's a surprise. And the reason is uh, that if you'd have yeah. given um, uh, advance warning uh, to Hamas in Gaza, uh, then uh, the hostages would like most likely uh, have been killed or spirited away to a, mm. a, a tunnel uh, that uh, Hamas has built at all of our expense in the West. Um, the, I mean, I, I, I'm stunned, as I've said to you before, Rita, that the, the simple lack of empathy with the situation that the Israelis are in. They have more than 100 hostages still held by Hamas and Islamic Jihad and terror groups and journalists and others, so-called journalists in Gaza. They want to get the hostages home. If Hamas wanted to end the war, it could end it tomorrow by handing over the hostages. Israel found the opportunity to get four of the hostages out. They were being harbored in civilian homes, in a civilian area. And uh, th there is a war going on there. And you know, the people who say, uh, you know, uh, there was collateral damage, there were people killed, innocent people killed. Um, I wouldn't believe the Hamas figures, by the way, and those are the ones that most of the media have run with as ever. But uh, even if any innocent civilians were killed, obviously that's that's sad. But you know, the, the, the problem is is that there's it's almost like there's a moral lesson in this: don't kidnap people and hold them in your house. No. Yeah, that that is a good lesson. <laughs> that would reduce your chances of being involved in something like this. Uh, before you go, I'm interested in your take on this debate that's happening online. Our poll from 2023 is causing a great deal of uh, debate among atheists, uh, many of them embarrassed by the results. Uh, the poll found that atheists are more likely to support minors undergoing gender transition than in any other religious belief. Uh, and only one in three Douglas of atheists support a ban on transitioning minors. 
how can that be when atheists, and I, I am one, like we're supposed to hold science-based, evidence-based beliefs? And I have trouble uh, reconciling that with this, these results. Well, you know, Rita, I don't think that anyone has, or any one group has a sort of a, um, prerogative on uh, reason and rationalism. Uh, atheists tend to say that they want to adhere in their moral frames to principles of reason and rationalism. I would simply say that this is a demonstration of something we've seen many times before, which is that the most reasonable and rational people can sign up to the most unreasonable and irrational cults. Uh, uh, the gender uh, <laughs> woo-woo transition cult is one of the cults of our time. In previous ages, some of these people would have tried to work out how to turn base metals into gold. But we don't live in an age of alchemy. We live in the age of bizarre transition surgery where, where cack-handed and wicked surgeons try to turn boys into girls and girls into boys. And they have as much success as alchemists did in the past. I'm very sorry for atheists who've mm -hmm. fallen for this. Um, but I would I would say that it's, it should be a warning to them uh, that actually, even if you make reason and rationalism your gods, uh, uh, you may fail to live up to your ideals. And these people in that poll, Rita, most yeah. certainly have failed to live up to those ideals. Guys, this is sad. We all know boys are boys and girls and girls. This is something that has been scientifically proven from day one. And I honestly feel that Ikeris are going through a lot. You waiting for your family to come back home, you praying for them to come back home, and you seeing that your civilians are holding them hostage. Like, I even don't feel like the civilians are the ones doing it. I feel maybe the civilians are forced to do it. Because, like, it's heartbreaking. I don't think anyone wants to put someone in that kind of pain and agony in your home and you're feeding them and you know that they want to go back home. And, bro, I, I really don't. I know that it said the heart of a man is excessively wicked, but like I really don't see how wicked a man can be for you to want to keep someone away from his family. Bro, it's heartbreaking. Like I honestly know that Israel are not saints, like them going to take those people. I know some people die and it's heartbreaking. But I honestly feel this war is not supposed to still be going on because it's not supposed to start at all. Like I honestly believe that peace she reign very soon because a lot of people really don't partake in this war and they are just being dragged into this mess. But guys, don't really think about this. Thanks to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.